MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Wei in Chen, a Taiwan native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game, but don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough in this one. Into the box, Lorenzo Cain. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. They come in here hoping to make it two in a row as they broke a three game skid with a victory last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a series right here. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The 2 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Rip down the first baseline. Dietrich has it, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ballgame. With that, here's a look at the Brewers' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, look out for Lorenzo Cain as this game moves along. He's already snatched 20 bags this year. When you think about it, there are not a lot of guys stealing 20 bases anymore, so that's already a big year in terms of stealing bases, and he's not even done yet. Next for Milwaukee, Jonathan Villar. Career numbers against Chen. He's got three base hits in 21 at bats. He's also gone down on strikes nine times. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw to first is going to beat him though as they're able to thwart the bunt attempt. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. So digging in now, Christian Yelich, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0 2 now. Chen gets the sign. Here's the 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Brent Suter, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Gene Segura standing in. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Marlins, the Georgia Gene Segura. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses for ball one. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game. You'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three-zero -oh count. Three and one to the Marlins' middle infielder. The three and one pitch. A little bouncer that goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Line towards center field. King has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Maddie, how about Steven Piscotti? He's got a five-game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. Up next for Miami, Richie Mota. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Now the one and one pitch. That softly hits a right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. He's got himself a one out single. Well, you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level, Dero. Breaking ball up and away, hard slider up out of the zone, hit for a bullet for a base hit. Yeah, Dan, you try and look for it to pop out above the pitcher's hand, that usually signifies that it's going to be something breaking. That was actually a slider, so nice job by the offensive player, not only recognizing it, but not trying to do too much. Runner, He's runner, runner! Now. Runner goes for second. Swing and a little blooper to center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And that's the second out. Oh, man, I don't know how that happens. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Snap one off over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. As he'll take a look at ball one. He comes in at 262 on the year. Eight home runs and 32 driven in. Fastball right over the inside corner. A one one. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Lowry, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a liner. 
foul. Next one, two pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on to second for the force out and the side is retired. One left for Miami. We are still scoreless. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Domingo Santana. Career numbers against Chen. He's got a three for seven line. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lays off one and zero. Oh. Here it comes, one and zero. Oh. Just a tick behind for a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Still one and two as he fouls it away. The one two is taken for ball two. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Whoa! Into right field, that's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Go. The 0 1 pitch misses for ball one. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Skied into straightaway right. Piscotti will settle under it to make the play for the first down as the runner will have to head back to first. Check out the Miami Marlins on defense. And let's focus on Gene Segura. Very athletic shortstop, has one of the best arms in the position, is really coming into his own offensively as well. Digging in now for the Brewers, Travis Shaw. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone.
First pitch on its way. Off the plate and low here, ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Boy, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count 2-0. 2-1 oh. the count. The 2-1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Runners on first with one down. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three-two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Lowry relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More to come from Marlins Park right after this. Ready now for the Marlins. Lewis Brinson. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Lewis Brinson. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Brinson is facing his old colors in this one. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. Yeah, guys, I always think it's interesting to play your old uniform. Maybe say hi to everybody you got accustomed to seeing when you were previously here. But then once the game starts, it's all business. Behind 0-2 now. Skied into straightaway right. Santana is there to put it away for route number one. So here's how the Brewers are positioned defensively. And patrolling center field today, Lorenzo Kane, one of the better defensive outfielders in the game. The ability to cover a lot of ground and hit anywhere in the order from the top to right in the middle where all the damage is done. Now in the box, Brian Anderson. Come on, Brian, let's go. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Ball one. The 1 0 home. Count now a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Count is one and two now. Bottom of the second here with no score. Another one two delivery. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off but he swings through the inside pitch anyway and he becomes out number two. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. But then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Standing in now, Derek Dietrich. Lifted down the line and left. Yelich on the move. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. He'll let her play here with that average down in the low 200s. Eight home runs and 21 driven in. Hold high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Santana. And that ends the inning. 
Miami down in order will move to the third with no score. Stepping in, Jet Bandy, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a ball 1 0. Now the 1 0. Is looked at for ball number two. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Off the sculpture, it's a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field eighth home run on the season for him as the Brewers get on the board first it's one to nothing. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 276, the average coming in for him. 10 home runs and 41 RBIs. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. One one is Whoa, taken high there. above the zone. Base is empty here with nobody out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Mabin, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The pitcher number 35. So now the Brewers pitcher Brent Suter one run in and one gone so far this inning. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. Now the 1 0. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Center fielder number six, Lorenzo. Cain. At the plate, Lorenzo Kane. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Chen's ready and the pitch. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. Now the 1 0. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. One and two, here it comes. Fouled away. Soft liner towards first. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. You know, it's funny, the first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With the two strikes, it's for the team. You've got to shorten up and find a way. And that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. And he'll 
step off the rubber and go to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Into the box now, Jonathan VR. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. One oh count here it is and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line it's a ball and a strike hey he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there the body can go a little bit if he was able to keep his hands back a little bit he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch and he'll step off and fire to the bag and he's back standing. The one two he swung on and missed he got him on strikes. But the Brewers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up it's now one nothing Milwaukee. Standing in, Cameron Maven. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. There's a changeup over the outside corner. The pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Ready on one and two. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the know. National League Central. Edgar. Way, you Ready now for the Marlins, Wei in Chen. First pitch on its way. <laughs> Takes a fastball on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 1 1 is strike two swinging. Misses ball two. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Come on, no. The batter, the shortstop, Steve Sakura. Ready for another chance. Gene Segura. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. So far, this has been a very good outing for this guy. Listen, he doesn't have the best stuff, but what he needs to do, and he's doing it right now, throwing strikes early, trying to initiate a lot of contact. The more pitches that the hitters see off this guy, the better chance they have to go ahead and square something up. So he needs to continue to attack early and get some quick outs, attack the strike zone on the first and second pitch.
Two out, nobody on. Segura behind on a one and two count. Love the execution of that changeup, but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to South Florida following this. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as the left-handed hitting Christian Yelich settles in to start out the inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he popped him up. Anderson in foul ground. And this will land foul. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it is Maven now as he pulls it in for the first out. The right fielder number 16, Domingo Santana. Riding in once again, Domingo Santana. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Curveball that time, not even close. The 1 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now, batting, first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Digging in to try it again, Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Chen gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They lead it one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Richie Mota. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here comes the first pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two-seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back door. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. The one two. Seared down the first baseline. And that's through for another base hit. They'll make it two for two in this one. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. The one thing that gets you jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. In now, Jed Lowry standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Takes a knee-high fastball. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them four. Hit hard back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Set it back right where it came from. Stepping in now, Stephen Piscotti. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. That's a ball. A fastball that just misses inside. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Rounded back up the middle. He's got it to second for one. On to first, the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. That'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. And that misses ball one. Mota on third with two out. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Fouled off. The one two. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. The next one two pitch popped him up and nope this one falls so he'll get another shot. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Two outs here with a runner at third. Line to the right side. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Well, you can't fold the fielder for being aggressive. He sold out to try to catch this thing, but he comes up empty, and the ball just scores by him. High risk, high reward move that just didn't pay off. Standing in now, Brian Anderson. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Hit down the line at first. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Oh, 
Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Marlins get a run on the RBI double. We're through four, all tied at one and one. Next for Milwaukee, Travis Shaw. Leading off for the Brewers, third baseman, Travis Shaw. First delivery to him on the way. He pulls this one into right. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. He homered back in the third inning in this one. The 1 0. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. One run on three hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And this is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the fifth. That was aggressive pitching in that at that and I like seeing that he showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 0 1. Tough slider down low for a strike. Not looking good after being down 0 2. I think at the very least you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through and it's fouled away another 0 2 home a bouncer up the middle scooped up on the backhand. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored in infield single. Boy, d -Row, this looked like one of those easy one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two-out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Chen sets first pitch on its way breaks his bat as this one's popped up and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Milwaukee leaves one halfway home all even at one apiece. Up next from Miami, Derek Dietrich. Off so far, Marlins. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Derek Dietrich. Here's the pitch. 
Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Dribbled to the right side. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. The one two. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Again, a one two. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for the Marlins. Opportunity now to peer into the future plans for the Brewers organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth, and that'll bring in the left fielder, Cameron Mabin. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Mabin is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and of course the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often, and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball taken high for a ball. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand his eyes lit up at the plate. Now the two one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. The 2 2. Grounded to short. Throw on to first takes care of Maven, and there are two away. Now that is the pitcher. Way in. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Wei in Chen. First pitch of the at bat. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Yelich is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We played five full, tied at one aside. So the lineup flips over and digging in Lorenzo Cain. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one just missed outside. One oh home hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball the one one home hit in the air out to center field and that's in there base hit so the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box now, Jonathan VR. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one.
from the belt. The pitch. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Kane gets his lead at first, nobody out. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. He's been throwing strikes all day. So you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take but he still had to put it in the zone. Come on, Marlon. In is Christian Yelich as he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider to count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive, but he's back. Come on, guys. The 0-2 pitch. Misses, that's ball one. You know, that almost works like a pitch out there. Maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. Now a snap throw to first. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. Chen's ready, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now another one-two. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Coming in is Brinson. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Brewers go down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gene Segura. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Hey, guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. 
A good changeup down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Digging in and looking for more, Richie Mota. He singled his last time up. Runner, First pitch runner, of the at bat on its way. Hit back up the middle. Oh, he does get to it to knock it down. And pretty fortunate here as they do wind up getting the out at first, although the runner will advance to second. How about it? Back in basement. Here's Jed Lowry and now. Lowry. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Runner at second here with one man out. Hey. And that's right there, and we're even at one. The 1 1 is a fastball looked at for a strike. this one up throw on to first two gone up next for the one right outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit runner in scoring position with two gone hoping to keep it tied here it comes and a fastball's in there for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Hits are even right now at five aside. One two fouled off. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North south pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. Look out! Right, that yeah, one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Two two. Count remains two and two. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. Two two. Here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Segura at third with two away. Hey, we all love home runs and gappers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. And he struck him out. A 10 pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Marlins leave one. Still tied one apiece.
welcome back to South Florida. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 29, Brad Bickler. Digging in once again, Domingo Santana. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. First pitch on its way. Hit hard down the line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Ziegler originally hails from Kansas. He was a 20th round selection back in the 2003 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first, and a big out to start the seventh. For one gone. Now batter. Now at the plate, Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Here's the pitch. Right side. And there are two away now. How about it? Third baseman. Travis Shaw. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat. A ball and no strikes. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-0. is looked at for the first strike. The 1-1. Taken strike two. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run there for Travis Shaw. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And the Brewers take a two to one lead. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs. But then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. In now, Jet Bandy. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 home. Misses ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Three and oh now. Orlando Garcia would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Good comeback there. It's three and one. one 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Sinker misses ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Junichi Tazawa takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. Tazawa! Orlando Arcia will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball just a bit high. The 1 0 delivery. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Piscotti is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. But the Brewers get a run and it comes here on the long ball. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. Two to one Milwaukee. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jacob Barnes will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Nick Franklin is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1. There's a swing and a high pop up. VR settles under it near second. One down. Now that is. Ready once again, Brian Anderson, who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And the changeup is way low that time. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Stepping in now, Derek Dietrich. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. It's a swinging bunt up the line. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They're down 2 1.
Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Pedro Baez is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number 53. Leo Estrada will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Leo Estrada. Now at the plate, Nick Franklin. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Here comes the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Lorenzo Kane. so far two for three in this one. He's set and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. Hey, that's case in point right there. He thought that was going to hollow out his rib and ended up being a strike. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. On, and he fouls this one off. The one two is a fastball that misses. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. No offer there from Kane, and he's aboard. It's ball four. The batter, number five. Ready for another shot now. Jonathan VR. He went down on strikes last time up. Before the first pitch, a check at first, and the runner back safely. Another look to first and the runner back. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. Now I'm sure these infielders know it but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. The 2 0 on the way. Taken strike one on the inside corner. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, 
that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan Villar. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. Kane, base runner at first with one out. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot. He just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. Brinson is there now, and he has it to gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Yelich. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Into the box, Domingo Santana. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And the run will come into score from second as now it's a three to one ball game. Boy, that's a big RBI right there to give this team a two-run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two-run lead. Yeah, Leo Mazzoni always used to say, old pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves, solos won't kill us, guys. And he's absolutely right. You give yourself a two-run lead, a solo homer's not going to not gonna do too much damage. Standing in now, Jesus Aguilar. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. So striding in, Travis Shaw has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball down near the shoe tops. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Bases are loaded here, two down. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fast. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Two hits lead to a run here for Milwaukee. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Brewers three and the Marlins one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Corey Knable is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number four, Gary Bennett is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Number 15. Here's Cameron Mabin now. His head-to-head -head numbers against Corey Knable. He's two for three. Leading off for the Marlins. Left fielder, Cameron Mabin. First offering on its way. 
up around the face. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Maben averages a hit once every four at bats and average at exactly 250. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 2 0 on the way. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul 2 and 1. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Fouled away. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box now, Leo Estrada, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. One and two. One and two. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter number two, shortstop, Gene. Gene Segura standing in. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. First pitch on its way. Liner towards second. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So with that we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Ambush tactics right there. But he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Digging in to try it again. Richie Mocha. And Dan what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound. Well I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep. But if you allow him to get on base the chances of him scoring in time this game become a lot greater. Now a throw over to first and he just manages to get his hand in. Here comes the first pitch. Now a first pitch change up here. Too far inside. It's 1 and 0. Segura leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a move over to first and he'll dive back in. Here comes the 1 0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Now the 2 0 home. 
And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Bruce Steckenrider enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready for another chance? Jet Bandy, one for two in the ballgame thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. The 1 0. Line drive to center field. Brinson is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping in now, Gary Bennett as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Let's go, Miami. Sweet. And he takes a cold strike up and out over the plate. 0 oh, 2. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Lifted the other way to left center. Segura calls for it. Two gone. The batter, two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Into the box, Nick Franklin. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First time up, he went down looking. <laughs> Set to deliver the 0 and 1. one and Takes one. a pitch high and away for ball one. Two out, nobody on. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Smoked on the ground left side. That's through for a base hit and he's one for two now. And Lorenzo Kane on deck loves to see that. It means he'll hit here as well. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball. But gets an off speed pitch. Doesn't try to do too much. And drives it for a base hit. In now is Lorenzo Kane as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's two for three and looking for more here. Throw it by it. A one and one count to the Brewers' leadoff man. One one misses for the second ball. Well that's a good pitch but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer you might get a swing. Now the two one. This is flared out towards second. And that'll get down for a base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Rowe. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher is giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Ryan Tapera takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. In now, Jonathan Villar popped him up. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's an easy strikeout. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Franklin on second, Kane on at first with two down. Two and one. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Hey. Strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. Segura into shallow left. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Brewers come up empty here in the ninth. Last chance coming up now for Miami. They're on the short end of a 3-1 to one score. Josh Hader enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 71, Josh Hader. Jed Lowry will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. A hey, not an easy thing to do, even at home when you're down by two, trying to score a couple of runs off of one of the game's top closers. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. 0-2, the count to Jed Lowry. Hater is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit-miss He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls, and that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. First pitch of the at-bat. A changeup over the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0 and 2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. The next 0-2. Ooh, good changeup, just missed inside. Oh, 
The one two. Popped him up. Aguilar is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Center fielder, number nine. Lewis. Stepping Brinson. in and ready for another shot, Lewis Brinson. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. Tried to Keep check it, it, and it's 0-1. Two run game last of the ninth with two away. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. You go down 0 2 to a guy with this type of arsenal. Man, you got to step out of the box, clear your head, and just fight. Miami down to their last strike. A ball and two strikes. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And he popped him up. Aguilar trying to get there. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he is out at second base. And partner, that's going to do it for this one. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Milwaukee jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Brent Suter earns his eighth victory of the season. Josh Hader earns the save out of the bullpen, his 31st of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.